what's up everybody so let's talk about holly bailey chloe bailey in ddg so holly and chloe visited a nail salon in los angeles it's called perfect nails now they are frequent customers to this nail salon this is not their first time going they have gone several different times to this nail salon holly stated that she really likes this salon so that's the salon she stuck with right and so she called and made an appointment and she called back stating that they would be late the lady said that if they were going to be that late that she would not be able to get them in and so i believe holly ended up going there on time but chloe was indeed late and so the lady was asking holly well where's your sister at and she, holly said well she's on her way and the lady was saying that if she was going to be that late she would not be able to accommodate her because there's other people that's behind her and holly felt like the lady was getting an attitude with her and so at this time chloe makes it to the nail salon and holly was like you know what forget it we'll just go somewhere else you don't have to worry about us or whatever the big commotion came when ddg posted this he posted this this place is racist towards black people they kicked my girlfriend out while doing her nails please give them one star they don't deserve business perfect nails and then he left the link to the yelp page so that i'm guessing his fans could go and leave a review and y'all, I personally went on to this person's website and y'all, people did indeed leave bad reviews who have never been to this lady's establishment. Now, there were some other reviews that were prior to this incident that some people were not satisfied with this woman's business or whatever, but like they got so many more bad reviews like this lady literally went from like maybe like four and a half stars all the way down to two and a half stars after DDG posted about all of this commotion or whatever. Holly actually went onto her Snapchat and we're going to watch this video. And y'all, those Snapchat ads was pissing me off in this video. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, I got the video off of it's on site on Instagram. So let's check out what Holly had to say. Remember a few weeks ago when I had told you I had discovered this amazing nail place and how it's like a place where they do rush manicures and it's amazing and la 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 and I just am going to keep going back to that place. Well, listen to this. So Chloe just got back in town and she always has her nails done really nice all the time and never really needs them done but she needed her toes done so I told her about this place I'm like well come with me today to the place I've been telling you about the Russian manicure place like it's good it's good so we were excited to go I set the appointment for 310 right I called the lady back and I made sure I'm like I'm gonna get there early my sister has something right before so she might be a few minutes late is that okay and she told me, of course, that's okay. You know, 15, 20 minutes late is okay. Mind you, I'm thinking the appointment is at 3.10. So I get there early, like at 3, they start taking off my gel X. Everything's going well. I'm getting excited. My sister's coming. I'm like, ooh, I can't wait for her to relax. And everything, have a good time too. So I get there and immediately, like, the lady starts saying, uh, Where's your sister? You need to check her in. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, oh, she's on her way. I told you, like, she was going to be a few minutes late. She's on her way, though. How long? How long? Because she has. we have back-to-backs, back-to-backs. Mind you, no one is in this place. It's empty. There's, like, one girl getting her nails done. And no one else is in there but me. I'm like, okay, she said she's, like, nine minutes away. And then she like starts giving me faces like nine minutes isn't gonna work so i'm slowly but surely starting to get a little bit irritated. i brought like them so many people 
my glam team goes there now to get their nails done. Like I have really brought them a lot of customers and I just can't believe that they're acting this way over nine minutes. So I start getting frustrated, right? And the Aries in me, I'm trying just not to turn up like that. And I'm just like, you know what, Hallie, just breathe, just breathe. Chloe will be here soon. It's going to be okay. She keeps going, keeps going at me, talking about, well, then she finally goes, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to cancel her. She can't get hers done today. While I'm in the chair already. I'm, and then I start saying, excuse me, ma'am. Um, literally, like, I have been here. I told you that she was going to be late on the phone already before i got before we set the appointment and now you're telling me when my sister is five minutes away now that she's canceled while she's on her way there's a new i'm like that's not right like and i've been a consistent customer i've always been on time everything else like you can't just right like you can't just take the benefit of the doubt and be like you know what this girl has been good like we can wait a few minutes but you're going to have an attitude with me and try to. So I'm starting to get upset. And then me and the lady start going back and forth because after all, I've been I've been a loyal customer and everything. And you're mad about nine minutes and she keeps going at me. And so I don't know if you guys know, but if you go to these like it's like a Russian, it's a Russian manicure place. So their English is good, but they're like kind of really um. How do I explain it? They're really direct. So sometimes some of the things that they say, like, comes off like it's being rude. Just because their tone of voice. But other times I would just, you know, not really take it that seriously. But this girl, she was, like, literally... Here's fine. She walked over to my chair and is arguing with me about this. So at this point, I'm really upset. And we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then Chloe walks in. And she's like, I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to be kept. And I say, you know what? In the middle of my toes being taken off, I'm like, you know what? It's okay. We will just take our business elsewhere. And I get up, my feet still wet, my hands still all powdery. And I'm like, it's okay. Like, no worries. Because I'm not going to let you tell me that my sister can't get her nails done, but I'm going to sit here and get my nails done no like no so i got up and we both got up out of there and i said you know what god bless you have a wonderful day i didn't get attitude as aries as i could have chloe said i was still really nice but i just told her that is unacceptable and rude because i've been a loyal customer so that really disappointed me okay so that was holly's side of the story it was a little different from what ddg stated he stated that those people kicked her out. Holly said that they just left and walked out while her feet were wet. And they was like, okay, we're good. We'll go somewhere else. So after DDG posted that, like I said, that lady got a lot of negative reviews from people. Now, me personally, if I've never went to a business, I'm not going to leave a negative review just because someone famous said that they had a negative review. I've never gone there. So I would never leave a negative review when I've never gone to a place. And I don't feel like his fans or anybody should have gone to this woman's place to leave a negative review just because Holly and Chloe had a bad experience. And I'm just not like that. I'm just not gonna do that, right? I don't see the need to do that because she did have other reviews from people that were, were not satisfied and so y'all done scared this lady so bad these folks done scared this lady so bad she had to get up on camera honey and say her side of the story to as well so let's check out this lady it's Layla and I am owner of mm -hmm. the perfect nail salon today we had an accident uh we had a call and client who was loyal and she was a couple times already at our salon and she was totally happy that's why she was coming back and she offered to so many of her friends 
to our place and we know that people like it's not random people came they came and they said from who they coming from which is thank you so much we we trying to be the best at the market anyways she made appointment today at 3 p.m for her and her sister later she called me back and she said like unfortunately they can't be on time and she wanted to reschedule 30 minutes late which i said i'm sorry we are fully booked today and we can't take you if you and we can't take you if you're gonna be 30 minutes late then she said okay 15 minutes late which is normal and i said yes 10 15 minutes you can be late but not more like she came 15 minutes we started doing her manicure because she had many and pedicure same like services then we switch her to pedicure and then i asked where's your sister because it was already 20 minutes and i said like unfortunately it's already long time so we can't take her because we have next appointment in 40 minutes and she said no she's already coming and she's parking at the end of the day she was late 35 minutes and of course like i said like I'm really sorry, like I know you are a loyal client, it's not your first time you come, but if you're gonna be dirty. People texting bad reviews, they comment on my all my Instagram, they commenting very bad stuff. Like I'm really scared and just because you're famous, where is the, like, where is the, how to say that, like, like, I'm really scared. Now, y'all heard the owner of the nail salon. Her name is Layla. And now, I can't believe that she was probably rude. Because, yeah, foreigners can be rude. I've, now, listen, I've never gone to a nail salon and they were rude to me. I've never. Okay. I think they know who to talk to and not to talk to. And they know not to talk to me like that. Okay. I've never have gotten an attitude from these people at these nail places, right? So I, I do believe that she probably was rude and probably was upset that Chloe was late. And I do understand that because they have people coming back to back, they are on a tight schedule. They want people to get in and out in a timely manner. And as a business owner myself, I do makeup on the side. When my clients are late, even if it's just 10 minutes, it is putting me behind. It does put me behind because I have my clients in the chair for at least an hour. And so when it goes over time for the next person, that puts me behind, that puts the other person behind. So I do feel the business owner when she said that, listen, you can't be that late coming because we have other people behind you so i do fear her on that one now what i don't think was right was when these people went on this lady's website who never went to her business and gave this lady a bad review based off of what ddg said because that's not what happened because holly stated that they just walked out of the nail shop they just walked out because they didn't like the lady's attitude. So, y'all, that's why these people should not be so quick to run and jump and say these negative things until they heard the whole story. You know, um, I don't think this lady was being racist towards them. If you're late, you put her behind. I really think that. And y'all, listen, I love Holly and I love Chloe. But as a business owner, girl, you late and you put me behind, you put everybody else behind too. So, did, yeah, as a business owner, please be on time, please. Or we can reschedule your appointment because you put me behind, period. Okay. But anyway, y'all, so what do y'all think about this whole situation with Holly and Chloe going to this nail salon and they were late and the business owner said that she could not do Chloe's nails because she was 35 minutes late. 
And what do y'all think about this whole situation? Y'all know what y'all got to do. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Like this video. And y'all know what y'all got to do. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.